Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be unboxing Ninja's brand new Everclad stainless steel pans. We picked up the 12 piece set and I'll tell you what, if we like these anywhere near as much as we like the Ninja Never Sticks, we could be in for a real winner. So you ready? Let's get into this. All right, let's see what we got here. I always worry a little bit when people advertise commercial grade products. If these things stand up to the beating that you'd get in a restaurant, that's one thing. But normally stuff that's made for the home market doesn't quite have that level of durability. But we're gonna find out, aren't we? They say they're engineered to perform in tough cooking conditions at nearly half the price of all clad. If they're talking about the brand all clad, then it's gonna be a heck of a lot less than half the price because this whole box costs about the same as one all clad pan. But a lot of manufacturers use that all clad moniker. Extreme temp tested to guarantee no warping, scorching, or hot spots. Okay, the hot spots I get, the scorching, yeah, I don't know about that, and the no warping, I'm gonna have to call BS on that a little bit because if you heat these things up and then pour cold water on them, they're gonna warp, I don't care what they are. Even all clad pans are gonna do that, so I don't know about that, we'll see. They have a limited lifetime warranty, I'd be really interested to find out exactly how that's limited. They've got tempered glass lids, some people like glass lids, some people like stainless lids, just kind of depends on your preference. At least with glass you can kind of see what's cooking in there without having to take the lid off, so there's that. Free of harmful chemicals, so I'm assuming no chromium or anything like that in here, so that might be interesting. Oven safe to 600 degrees. You know, they're making a lot of big claims on this box here. Uh, 600 degrees is really, really hot for something like this. So if that can take 600 degrees, then uh, more power to them. And all range compatible, which these days just about every pan is compatible with uh, all the different ranges. And what they're really talking about probably is induction. That means the bottom layer of these pans is magnetic. Here's what comes in the box. 8 inch fry pan, 10 and a quarter inch fry pan, 12 inch fry pan with a lid, one and a half quart saucepan with a lid, three and a half quart saucepan with a lid, three quart saucepan with a lid, and a six quart stock pot, guess what, with a lid. Be interesting to see if any of these lids here are compatible with these three pans up here. Sometimes you get that and it's a really nice thing to have and sometimes you just kind of get screwed, so we shall see. These pans have a three ply construction, so that means the inner cooking surface has an 1810 stainless steel layer. You've got an aluminum center layer that really helps distribute the heat around the pan evenly. And then that third layer is a polished stainless exterior. Probably 180, something like that, because it does have to be magnetic, because we know the 1810 isn't, we know the aluminum's not, so it's gotta be that layer. There's some features of the pans. Riveted stainless steel handles. High walls on the pans, that's always good to have. We already talked about the polished stainless. There's your glass lid right there. Larger cooking surface, which means these are probably more flat space on the bottom, not so much of a curved bottom. And then the same information that's on the rest of the box, just said in a different way. Let's get this thing open. This box is huge, so uh, bear with me. Okay, what do we got? Looks like a couple of lids here. There's our small one. And these bags are taped closed, so that's annoying. There's our lids. Nice construction on these. Tempered glass. This uh, stainless steel rim. Seems like it. The handles are stainless. They're riveted on. See, there's not screws. Those are rivets. Uh, really nice construction on these. You can see the little Ninja logo right there. Looks like almost the exact same lids that we had in the non-sticks. That's not a bad thing because I like those lids. One thing you'll see that's missing though is there's no ventilation hole. That kind of sucks because I kind of like those. What's going to happen is if pressure builds up in your pan, this is going to start to chatter a little bit to let the air out because there's nothing here to help let that out on its own. Is it the end of the world? No, but doesn't mean I like it. Okay, next lid. Same exact stuff, but bigger. Same strengths, same weaknesses. All right. Okay, right here, we got a quick start guide. 
The guides that Ninja gives you are actually pretty darn good. It tells you how to properly use them, tells you what they're not recommended for, what to do about discoloration, difficult spots, burnt on food. Pretty much most of the questions that you would have about your stainless pans are probably going to be answered in here. This doesn't include a recipe book, which kind of bums me out a little bit, but they do tell you how to perfectly sear a steak. So there's that, along with how to get different temperatures on your meat. So you might use this book, you might not use it. It's up to you. Let's move on. Right here, that's, that's a handle. Okay, a little spacer. We'll take that out. And this looks like our small saucepan. And they just really wanted to tape all this stuff shut, didn't they? Wow, they are just straight up taped over the handle there. Woo, that's pretty nice. Not super heavy. But then again, this is just the one and a half quart saucepan. So this is not a big pan. Pretty good amount of weight to it. You can really see, man, this thing just shines. One thing about stainless steel, when they come out of the box like that, they just look so freaking great all the time. Nice stainless steel handle here. Again, we got those rivets there. Really nice way that's connected. Ninja logo. The surface of this is nice and smooth. Really, really like that. You can see that the inside on the cooking surface, that's more of a brushed finish. And then if you turn it to the outside, that outside layer is a lot shinier. There goes a little bit of branding on the bottom of the pan for you. And the lids just kind of fit right on just like that. Good looking pan. Really great looking pan, actually. Okay, looks like we got another lid here. Woo. Again, same, same, but different because it's huge. This is a big ass lid. So that means we got a big ass pan in there, right? Sure do. I mean, just look at that. Which side first? Let's go right. Finish up the sauce pans. Now these are three layer pans. My other stainless pans that I have are five layer. So they are noticeably heavier than these. And typically heavier means better at retaining heat. So we're gonna see how well these do as far as that category goes. Same thing, a little bit larger pan, stainless steel handles, nice brushed finish on the inside. Good teeth tail on the pan. I don't see any imperfections or scratches anywhere on this. And if you're wondering, this one is the two and a half quart. So you got a one and a half and you got a two and a half. More lids. Looks like that might be the lid for the two and a half. I'll spare you talking about this thing again. And then down here, looks like we got our stock pot. As these pans get bigger, obviously they get heavier. Kind of a lot heavier. This, this is not light. But you know what? Not complaining. That's a good thing. This is your six quart stock pot. We got two handles on this, riveted on both sides. No ninja logos on the handles this time, but we do have all that information on the bottom on this, just like all the other ones. Man, these things are gorgeous. Okay, and now for the sautés. That is nice. I've always just absolutely loved the look of stainless steel. Never get tired of looking at these things. You'll see this pan has got a lot more of a sloped edge to it, but really not as bad as a lot of pans I've seen in the past. A lot of times this is coming way in, but if you are looking at the outside diameter versus the inside diameter, that's a pretty good amount of difference there. So you do have to keep that in mind. One thing to mention though, that aluminum layer that is sandwiched in between the two stainless layers on this pan, um, that aluminum layer comes all the way to the top edge here. So we should be able to get heat disbursement all the way up the sides of the pan a lot better than you would get if that was just aluminum down in the base. So that's actually something that's very important to know about these. There you go, this is the eight inch saute and I like it. We're getting to the bigger ones here. And this one is a 10 and a quarter inch saute pan. And everything is the same as what I just got done telling you. Still good detail on these. I haven't seen any little nicks or scratches or anything on these. They just look absolutely perfect. You'd be surprised how many pans I've seen that come with little dents and nicks in them. That's really just kind of unacceptable. But you can see the way that Ninja packages their stuff. That's going to be awfully hard for something to happen after it gets into this box. So you know what? I appreciate that. 
this off here. Feels like Christmas, doesn't it? There's another lid. Oh, you know something different about this particular lid? Nothing. It's exactly the same as all the other ones. Okay, get that out of the way. Get that out of the way. Get that out of the way. Okay, and this is our three quart saute. You can see that this has a slightly different design than the other saute pans. This one has vertical sides on it. So you can actually hold a lot more in this than you can with the other pans. This is the type of pan that I normally cook in, just because it's a lot more convenient. And this is a really great size. If you've never used a three quart pan before, they're really no joke. That is uh, more pan than you probably need. If you were cooking for your family, this would comfortably fit probably four pieces of steak in there. So when you're shopping for pans, you always gotta make sure that you get a nice mix. It looks like we got a really good mix here so far of large and small stuff. It looks like we got one left in here. Ooh. And this one is freaking huge. This thing is big. <laughs> wow. You got a 12 inch saute. That is fantastic that you would get a 12 inch saute in one of these sets like this. This really sort of makes my day because I haven't gotten a set before that included something this large. That's really nice. Everything else is all the same as we were talking about before. And again, no blemishes, no nicks, no scratches, just really, really nice looking pans. Okay, here we have the entire set laid out for you. There's one thing I'd like to check on though. Most pan sets, as you can see, they don't have a lid for every single pan. You got seven pans and five lids. And what happens a lot of times is the pans that don't have lids end up not having any lids in the set that could fit them just because all the pan sizes are different. It's just, it's basically the way that they sized out the set. So what would be really neat is if these two pans right here had a lid on one of the other pans that would fit on them. So let's take a peek here. It's looking like this one might fit this lid right here and it does not that's too small but then if we go to the next larger lid which is this one here then we got a goldilocks thing going on because that's too big all right let's see about the other saute maybe this one will go right over there yep that one fits perfect so maybe a little bit of a bummer that the small saute pan over here doesn't have a lid in the set that'll fit it. But you know what, that might not really be the end of the world. It just kind of depends on whether you'd really need to be using one on a small pan like that anyway. But in any case, that's something to think about. I'll tell you what, so far these things are looking awfully good. Like I said at the beginning of the video, we've been using the Ninja Never Stick pans, and those are actually really great non-sticks. It's gonna be really interesting to find out how these hold up to their claims, and how well they perform versus our other stainless steel pans that we have. Over the next few weeks, we're gonna do a lot of testing with these pans and really put them through the paces. Then, once we're satisfied that we have enough information, we'll put out a full product review. If you'd like a little bit more information about the Ninja Everclad pans from this video, we do have an Amazon affiliate link to them down in the description of the video. If you buy anything through those links, we do make a small commission, but it doesn't change the price that you pay one cent. If you like this video, you might like this video right here where we did the unboxing for the Ninja Never Stick pans. We still have those things today and we still love them. And if you're in the market for a couple of good non-sticks, those just might be the ticket. Well, that's it for now. Hope to see you again really soon. And until that time, I'm Joe and I hope you have a phenomenal day. Take it easy.